Hello friends, this is Dipankar Jana, your guide and friend and you are watching Bioverse Biology. So, good morning students. Uh, after the male reproductive organ that is called testis, we are going forward to the female reproductive system. This one is a basic structure of female reproductive system this has commonly these six parts so you, uh, you can say six sections here uh, we are discussing one by one from the lower part that you can easily remember it right so first of all at the bottom here we got a vagina So during the sexual activities or during copulation, the male penis uh, ejaculates here the sperm uh, on the vaginal surface. Then it will move upwards. So this is uh, this you can see this has a ciliated uh, fimbriate structure that will help to uh, sensitize both male and female sexual organs for the orgasm next moving to upwards this is called the cervix so this is a small pathway just uh, after the copulation when the sperm released here in this region the sperm then move forwards this has also some ciliated structure to uh, move the uh, sperms forward to inside so this is cervix after that you have a hollow pear shaped structure you can say this is called uterus okay this whole part from here to this this whole part is called uterus and this is uterine walls okay uh, next moving to the upward part where uh, we are just following the uh, pathway of the sperm that is uh, going for the fertilization so you can see the sperm moves here then to here and then any of them either this side or this side from the uterus uh, this is a uh, common thing that when uh, in case of one month if this ovary is fertilized the other month this will be fertilized is it will be a uh, alternative process or uh, alternative uh, fertilization occurs in both the ovaries in the first month of this the second one will be this the third one will be this and the fourth one will be this and uh, the so on going right so this uh, moves upward and enters in a uh, thin lumen this is called the fallopian tube this is other names also you can say oviduct or you can say ovarian tube it is just a connection between the uterus and the ovary for the uh, movement of sperm and as well as the fertilized eggs back to the uterus so this is fallopian tube uh, you can see a brass like structure here right this is called fimbri the main function of this to hold the ovary right 
and the main reproductive part which forms the ovum is here called ovary so this is a simple structure just have to remember uh, mainly of this five parts vagina cervix uterus fallopian tube and ovary this is just a accessory part fimbri right so most of the, in, in your exams you have to just identify these five parts okay so just keep in mind this is a uh, quite simple structure to remember okay and in the next uh, part we are going to uh, describe the structure of an ovary or you can say the how a ovum forms or develops in a ovary or inside a ovary so this is uh, a basic structure of ovary right and these are ovums or you can say developing stages of ovums okay so first of all we are going from the start these are blood vessel just these are not the part of the ovum these are blood vessels connected to one ovary so primarily these ones normally are called growing follicles growing follicles okay or you can say primary follicles all right so this is a developing stage of ovary uh, in this stage the ovary gets uh, gets nourishment the nucleus uh, is uh, no, developing uh, in stage and on folding occurs their cell divisions occurs numerous times through meiotic division and going forward to the next stage this is called a mature follicle or you can say this is a graphian follicle all right so after maturing uh, this stage the ova move forwards to the peripheral region that is the outermost layer the periphery you can say and fused with it so from this to this it is of 1 to 13 days 1 to 13 days total whole process from the developing stage to graphian follicle to uh, going to the periphery it's all 13 days on the 14 day on an average this can vary uh, in uh, women's uh, uh, from uh, seven days at least uh, it can vary the ovulation period this is the ovulating stage or the ovulation say, uh, stage you can say in this stage on the 14th day on an average the ov ovum released from the graphian follicle okay or you can say the mature follicle this is a ovum released once uh, once in a month all right on a gap of 28 to 30 days and the rest of the body this body this is the ovum released from the main whole graphene follicle part and the rest of the body is just remain inside the ovary and get degraded uh, day by day so this form degrading or you can say regressing form is called corpus 
lutetium all right so this is called corpus lutetium simple stage the uh, cell body without the ovum or you can say the uh, uh, ovarian stage without the the graphene follicle you can define it as the graphene follicle minus ovum equals to corpus luteum all right so this is regressing or you can say degrading day by day and um, on the period of formation of another uh, growing follicle it just gets uh, it can be removed from the body or it can be added to the next growing follicle as a cell body okay so that's the whole process of ovulation uh, or you can say uh, this is also the process for menstruation okay the menstrual cycle you can say uh, we know that the menstrual cycles uh, of a woman had four male steps right first of all formation of the growing follicles the growing follicles right that's the growing phase right next the ovulatory phase right next the luteal phase and then menstrual phase in growing phase the formation of an uh, well formed mature follicles is going on from the growing follicle to the mature follicle uh, or you can say a graphene follicle this is the growing phase next the ovulatory phase in this stage only the ovum gets uh, uh, released from the uh, whole part and uh, went up to the uterus uh, if the fertilization occurs the fertilized uh, egg will be uh, placed at the uterus or uh, in other cases if for the fertilization not occur it just get um, attached to the uterus and after menstruation it gets uh, detached from the uterus with the means so this is the ovum or ovulatory phase next the luteal phase in this phase the corpus luteum forms and uh, regressing uh, day by day on an period of uh, 14 days uh, plus minus 2 days you can say it varies uh, the corpus luteum gets regressing uh, day by day and after that uh, on the stage of you can say um, uh, 28th day the endometrium destroyed and means come out from uh, the vaginal uh, as a vaginal secretion with the blood and blood vessels uh, attached to it and with it the ovum also released from the ovum that's the whole process two more uh, important things you can say when the mains or you can say the menstrual cycle start at the beginning the onset of a menstrual cycle is called menarch and when the one woman gets aged uh, to uh, 45 to 50 uh, or you can most of them uh, gets um, uh, gets their menopause you can say or you can say the end of an ovulatory cycle in uh, completely or you can say permanently uh, this is called menu pause this will vary from 40 to 45 uh, in case of women right so these two uh, terms are important here so that's the whole thing the structure of ovary with uh, the menstrual cycle stages right so that's it for today for, for the next video bye